Greetings and good morning, everyone. So here we are. It is Wednesday, uh, May 12th, and I'm at the gym again. And yesterday I had a new milestone. Um, as I said before, I found myself this January 2021 being the biggest I ever got in my life, all the way up to almost 300 pounds. I was 295 to be exact. And um, yesterday, stepped on a scale and I'm down at 258. Now, every single year, I have uh, New Year's New Year's resolutions, and sometimes I stick to them, sometimes I don't. But I'm glad to say my biggest uh, resolution this year was to lose this weight, and I'm killing the game right now. I just gotta stick to what I'm doing. <laughs> Excuse me, but anyways, um, yeah, I just gotta stick to it, and I got it figured out. I feel good, you know. I'm eating clean. I'm eating meal preps. If I'm hungry for a snack, I eat some nuts or I eat some granola bars or something like that or a protein bar. And I got really tight with my diet. I'm on a strict regimen. Um, I'm doing intermittent fasting. I only eat in like either six or eight hour windows, sometimes even a two hour window. And I only eat one meal a day sometimes. Um, I'm in a very restrictive diet. I can relax a little bit, but ultimately this is my new lifestyle. Like I have to make it a part of my life because if I ever go back to the old way, I can put the weight back on as I've done before because I lost, um, in the past, I had lost uh, 30, 40 pounds and then gained it all back and then some this time around. So um, I don't want that to happen again. Um, but I weighed in yesterday and I also wrote a letter to the army and I'm gonna talk about that right now. So I wrote a letter to the army pretty much saying, um, I know today is technically my last day and as a officer and leader in the army, I know I definitely didn't do right. You know, I didn't hold, hold up my end of the bargain as far as my contract and staying in shape. Um, but I'm asking if I could get another chance. You know, I, I began to figure out how to put my body under my control, how to get my self-discipline back. And so I'm wondering if you guys can give me another chance. You know, I wanted to be a soldier uh, since I was little. This has always been my dream. I remember watching movies um, with my father, like Saving Private Ryan, and we were soldiers. And I always wanted to like emulate and become one of those heroes one day that those actors were portraying in those movies. You know, the old uh, United States Army veterans uh, that served in World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, all those wars. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be one of those when I grew up. Um, and. I lost sight of that and that is my problem that's not the army's problem that's my fault um you know getting caught up in the monotony of life you know having distractions from different issues i might have had in my personal life i let those take control of me rather than me you know continue to have control of myself and you know you let uh depression kick in and sadness and feeling sorry for yourself and then you try to cope with you know, eating a tub of ice cream, eating cakes and cookies and pizza and burgers and fries and shakes. And it, it'll just, as you can see, you know, that's, that is a down spiral. And that's how you can get out of control with your fitness. So uh, pretty much for me, it was taking the, the time to realize um, you have the power to get through all of this and you don't have to uh, use uh, food as medication to get through this because the food isn't medicating you it's actually making your situation worse and uh, so now I use the gym as medication and I use uh, you know being on a healthy diet when I restrict myself from eating bad foods it actually for me it actually I believe releases dopamine, dopamine in my head because it, I get pleasure out of realizing like okay I won that battle I won that battle against myself and not eating that bad food. So that helps me. Um, and pretty much uh, just seeing that number get smaller every day on the scale, that has very much so helped me. So um, technically, if they say no, then that means yesterday was my last day in the military. And that means this is a whole different video. So I will give a recap on my time in the military because I spent six and a half years in the army and I'll do that if they say no, which they have every right to because I screwed up. I didn't lose the weight. I didn't keep myself in shape. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have got this big to begin with. 
And so um, I couldn't be mad if they didn't want to give me another chance. I'm hoping that they do. I'm hoping that they uh, find grace. Uh, my dad is praying for me. A lot of my relatives, my uncle praying for me. My wife is. I'm praying. Um, and I'm still working. Like I said, I'm in the parking lot at the gym right now. I'm about to get it in. We about to hit this treadmill for like at least an hour and a half. And I'm going to try to get at least six, seven miles on that thing, if not eight or more. And uh, we just going to get it in. You know, all I can keep doing is keep, you know, putting the plow to the field. You know what I'm saying? And keep uh, shaving those numbers off. I was very um, happy yesterday, even though I didn't make weight yet. Um, I was happy that I showed them even in the last week, I lost about four pounds and I came down uh, two percentage points on my BMI. I was 31% body fat when they take me last week. This week I was 29% body fat. So that felt real good that just those little victories, you know, you don't, you don't just like dismiss those. Those are important because it's brick by brick. You know what I'm saying? I look at like my body, like I'm building a house, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm rebuilding this thing because I tore it down <laughs> with all that food I ate last year over the pandemic. So I'm re I'm rebuilding this house brick by brick. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. But when I get to where I'm trying to get to, whoo. I'm gonna be sculpted, baby. I'm gonna be ripped. I'm gonna be shredded. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a six pack. Right now, I got the one big pack, but you know, the six pack on the way. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna just keep working, man. We're gonna keep working. We're gonna keep getting it in. We're gonna keep suffering, going through this misery every day uh, because this is my lifestyle now. You know, I said I wanted to be a soldier, you know, and I got civilized. But you gotta remain a savage, like my man David Goggins say, stay hard. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I was 295 at the beginning of this year. It is now May 12th and I'm down to 258 and I'm still fat as hell. We're going to keep working on it, um, but I'm losing weight. The weight is coming off slowly, but surely it is coming off. So over the span of five months, I lost almost 40 pounds. Um, and that's more healthy than I, I've done it before because one time I lost almost 40 pounds in one month and that's not very healthy and that's not sustainable. And then that's why I'm in the situation I'm in now because it was hard for me to do it that way, making it a lifestyle. Cause what I was doing was I was uh, fasting. Some people say starving. I believe in fasting. I do believe it's okay to fast. I do believe it's okay to go extended periods of time without food, as long as you do it with balance and make sure you're right. Like if you start feeling uh, lightheaded then come off the fast, but I was doing fasting three days and then I would eat one day and then I would go back to fast in three days. And that's how I lost, I lost like 30 pounds. Um, I lost 35 pounds within one month. Uh, but I've been trying to do that again to lose this last little bit. I might try that again. Um, but I have been trying to do it. I was doing two days and then eat once, two days and eat once. And that has helped me a lot. Um, but it is hard, you know, that's not easy. That's not easy to do. And it's definitely not sustainable, you know, for like lifestyle. I don't think, uh, at least for me, because I love food too much. So I can't go two days without eating every single week. That's no. But what I have learned to do is to keep my body at a caloric deficit um, by eating clean uh, meals from Eat Right Foods. You know, um, shout out to Eat, White Fo Eat Right Foods Buffalo. I actually think I might send them my story. Um, once I once I completely lose this weight, uh, but yeah, so it's definitely uh, made a great change in my life, and uh, this is task and purpose part four. So yeah, uh, my purpose is losing this weight to continue chasing my dream in the military, being an officer, um, and we'll see what happens. But you know, if it doesn't work out and they don't let me stay, like I said, I'll do a recap video of my career in the military, and. I'll continue losing this weight and I'll do other things and I might try to join the Marines or the Air Force. So, you know, I'll keep y'all plugged in. Y'all see what will happen with me. But all right, y'all have a great day. Peace out. Um, yeah, and, you know, stay hard like David Goggins say. Peace.